Well, the Williamsville Central School District is allowing teachers, faculty and staff the opportunity to bring their dogs to school if they meet the criteria to help students who may be a bit stressed. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. Time and time again, we've heard about the benefits animals bring to nursing homes, hospitals, and even schools. I saw the, the impact that it, it can have on a building. Williamsville East Principal Brian Swatland says he knows therapy dogs can positively impact students because he's seen it firsthand. The school previously took part in a pilot program with Paws for Love run through the SBCA. It didn't matter if they had a test coming up or if they had an AP course coming up. They're just... There wasn't a care in the world and anything we can do to um, diminish anxiety or reduce anxiety in our students and to promote social emotional learning, then we're going to do that. That's why the Williamsville Central School District Board of Education has approved a new therapy dog policy. The policy defines a therapy dog in part as a dog who is trained and certified to work together with its owner to provide emotional support to students. It's for any school in the district and it's really up to the building's needs and if there's a person in the building that chooses to adopt a dog and train a dog and go through the therapy dog process, then they would qualify to be able to bring their, their dog into the building. It's so exciting to see a school take a look at a program at the SPCA serving Erie County and say that the impact has been so great that they want to imitate that program and, and emulate it. And it, it's thrilling and it just shows the importance of animals in the lives of not only adults but in the lives of children. Swatland tells us first, the pet will have to go through the necessary steps to become a therapy dog. Then each faculty or staff member and their dog would need approval from the administration. The policy also addresses people who might have allergies to make sure all students and faculty are covered. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.